This is Finished Work TV, a place of inspiration, wisdom, and revelation. As you listen and receive God's Word today, your life will never remain the same. This young fellow has the revelation of the ability of God, and that revelation is making progress in his spirit. He continued to feed on God's word to make progress in that revelation. You know, many years ago, I have some young friends, you know, and they were making mockery of me. And um, one of them said that I don't have a message. He was telling somebody that that told me after many years that I don't have a message. But now they call me to pay their rent. <laughs> why are you calling the man you say he doesn't have a message to pay your rent you don't have a message why can't you pay your rent your message should translate into money into wealth into abundance if it's not working for you it means it's not real if it's real it will work and you know what I was doing as they were making mockery of me I was feeding on the word all the people that made mockery of me in that neighborhood all of them are at the floor all of them. None of them could stand. None of them could do anything big. You know why they were making mockery of me? They were not conversant with the environment I was stepping into. They were not conversant with that dimension of communication I was doing. They were not conversant with that kind of thinking. People will misunderstand you, especially when you begin to step into some realm in God. Now, what I will look at you and say, you're going nowhere. But let me say this to you. Don't be distracted by side talk. The most important thing is your relationship with Jesus. Accusation and frustration is not the focus. The focus is to unlock revelation that will help your thinking to move into the dimension of uncommon possibilities. So they were making mockery. But I was busy building my faith. I was busy building. Let me say this to a lot of young men now. Somebody's looking at you making mockery. Or, ah, you see there, there. Ah, me, I'm here now. Look at my shoe. Look at my bag. Look at my this. Look at my that. Don't bother about shoe and bag. Be feeding on the word. When you don't read, when you don't read, there's a time you get read though. Life. Now, that time you will know what that now God is up. When they question man of you, you say produce. I think you the go church. I think you the serve God. Time don't come. Time to show. Don't come. Ah, you know say all hands are not equal. Ah, you know say all hands are not equal, and you're talking. They wearing feeding their faith. If you don't feed your faith, you have nothing that will produce for you. You have not, nothing can work for you. Why? Because for anything to work, it has to be by faith. Mary took care of her faith. That is why her faith took care of the situation. If you take care of your faith, your faith will take care of your situation. That is why when people are making mockery of you, be growing inside. Be growing. Somebody said the greatest revenge is massive success. And I believe that. Too. That the greatest revenge is what? Is massive success. The greatest revenge. It's not to kill your enemy. It's not somebody to die. No. The greatest revenge is massive success. That you continue to succeed in the direction of the purpose of God for your life. You continue to succeed. That is, that is what it takes. So when mockery is going on, be feeding on the word. That's what made me. I'm taking more of the word in. Taking more of the word in. I was listening to people who have done some unusual things with their faith. I was feeding my faith because the purpose of mockery is to frustrate your present. To make your present life look like nothing. That's why they are mocking you. That your present life will make no meaning. They will just say, this is what they talk. Where they go? Those things is to hinder you. It's to make you look stupid. But let me tell you something about life I've learned for these 27 years of life and ministry. Mockers are the most confused people. People who don't mind their business have no business. <laughs> Are you feeling me today? Eh? People who don't mind their business 
have no business. When you say, mind your business, they don't get business now. Huh? So now you be their business what in their mind by talking about you. Hmm. Mockers are the most confused people. You know why they're confused? They don't even know what to do with their own life. They just wake up, look for a full job, walk up on this side, stand, and start talking. That woman just passed. Now, wow, that woman, now, wow. I saw she did pass. That man passed. So they, they, they have nothing. And that is a, not just a low life, dead life. To call it low life means you have graded it somehow. But it's a dead life. I'm not true with my assignment. And I'm talking about somebody. Who cares? What up? The vision. Come, as I talk to you right now, I have a vision that will cost me five billion naira for kickoff. For kickoff. For the vision to kick off. Five billion will drop. You are in victory. One thing that have helped me is the ability to stay in faith. And I intentionally walk on my faith every day. Every day I am intentionally walking on my faith to survive all kinds of news, to survive all kinds of issues. To survive all kinds of situations. People who survive storms. Survive it by faith. People who overcome trials. They overcome it by faith. People who rise above the flood. They overcome the flood by faith. We're reading something this morning. How God preserved eight persons. The whole world went to nothing died in the flood. He preserved eight persons. And God told me, I was telling them to enter the ark. I made it easy for them. It took years. I was talking to them to enter the ark. I can't make their decision for them. Those who make the decision, I preserve them. Oh, my holy God. I was reading that this morning. I said, Jesus, when I read to them, preserve eight persons. Eight Millions flood took them away. No descendants completely wiped off. He was talking to them. Why Noah was building the ark, they were making mockery. The same way some people are making mockery right now. <laughs> you go to one banner, somebody's making mockery. Making mockery of God, making mockery of the things of God, but doesn't want to enter the ark. <laughs> There are those making mockery when it comes to serving God. They say, whatever in the good church now, now Jew man in the good church now. Let me tell you, love you. Before I became a Christian, I lived all kinds of wild life. 
they bomb me and raised me in Job. If you have not lived in Port Harcourt before, ask me that I've lived in Port Harcourt, where they called Job, the heart of Job. That was where I, they bombed me for Job. Right there I grow up. Now there I grow up. So when I see some people want to do like that, I say, what did they do now? Now there they burn us. Your own self, they start. Look at some videos and I just start. Now there they burn me. I grow up like that. I grow up seeing wildlife. I grow up seeing crazy people. I grow up seeing people stabbing people, killing them. So all those life, I saw them when I was growing up. So that is not where to go. Party will party very well. Party to Chris. Ah, when I was unbeliever, I was a complete one. Complete. I used to, in those days, oh my God. <laughs> There's a student in Portacol, they call this Studio 01. I used to come and carry them from Portacol to Abia State to go do all night jamboree for me. We'll have bouncers. You can't enter the place now. You they smoke. What do you think? People that will bounce you are there. So I live, I saw that. So when I see some people trying to do like this, I say, what did they try to do now? What is your own problem? And they tell you about Jesus, they shake your head. What did they shake your head for? Receive Christ. That life is life without hope. I've been there. I've seen that, done that. So when you see us today committed to Jesus, don't think that, hey, pastor never see anything before. You what you don't see. Jesus is the way out. Not only that, white life, we came from a family where idol worship was real. That's under this story. So I've seen the both sides, both idol, all kinds of things. I want to share the story with you. How when we wrote Wayek in those days, me and my brother, we wrote Wayek and want to pass go to university. <laughs> I won't forget that experience. I will went to the village. And me and my, this, my brother were just strolling. Went and saw one big shrine. We didn't feel shrine because we took a shrine for us. So shrine is not a threat. So we were coming kind of inside the shrine, me and my brother. We saw some men there. They said, what, what are we looking for? We said, ah, we wrote the exam. I want to do something. We want to pass the exam. They said, ah, bring something. Those men collected something from us. So they scam. <laughs> Jesus is your answer. <laughs> Who is your answer? <laughs> Jesus is the other. See, stay with Jesus. He's the safest place. He's the only person that can help you. And the man told us to bring something. They did some libation, did everything, and just said whatever they said. I forgot it. The result came out. I was having the, my nine, F9 was eight. I went to meet the devil. That is his figure. Anytime you go meet Satan, I'm going to give you a figure. He, he has no good. All he has is F, 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 F. I don't tell her now. Some of them won't go, some young men won't go enter your room. If you enter, at the beginning to be sweet, after a while, because anything you take forcefully from people have a way of bouncing back. Don't enter that. Thing. If you're here, you hear me. If you're into it, get out from it. I say, Lord, I repent. Because whatever you collect forcefully, they are cursing. Some people are speaking. Someone was telling me how somebody went and scammed a man who can speak, who can talk, a deaf and dumb man. Collected his money. That's not the way of the spirit. That's not the way of the word of God. The way of the word of God is not the way of taking advantage of people. You don't take advantage of God is able to make all grace. Here the scripture. All what? All grace abound towards you that you always have it. Anything people got, work hard and God, you can get more. You can get more. You can get more. You can build genuine businesses. Don't have this mindset. Say no work. Get the word of God by the spirit. You will generate ideas that will bring wealth. Don't give yourself this mindset. Work no day. My father poor. My mother poor. Poverty ends by revelation. As you begin to feed the, on the world. Haven't I told you the story of where I'm coming from? How creditors came to our house and cut our radio. I've told you the story was so poverty. Come on. I'm not ashamed of where I'm coming from. And I'm glad of where I am today. I'm not ashamed. I saw landlord humiliate my parents. I saw that. I saw humiliation. I saw kinds of shit. But let me say this to you. It is time 
to change how you look at things. Wealth and prosperity is part of redemption expression. I said wealth and prosperity is part of what redemption expression is part of it. God wants you to be blessed. God wants you to be rich. Rich by his word. Rich by his word. God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you're always having. Your condition cannot withstand the revelation of the blood of Jesus. Your condition cannot withstand the revelation of the blood of Jesus. He died for you to have a quality life. Stop making it look like I know I come from a very poor home. When we started this church, now canopy will come with. Hear me and hear me well. When this church started for inside this land, in the, on this property, in short, we didn't come to this place first. So this place was a full grass. We couldn't enter. That's my old office site. That's where we kept canopy. And we're using that canopy for some weeks until a young man joined the church that helped us to build that bacha. See that bacha where there. Let be the church before. I opened that and now snap that bacha. I want the in general. I mentioned that bacha is snap. Very important for me. Because some people will come from nowhere and I think they will just arrive. As you'll be showing them the bacha. I'm not talking to somebody right now. The church didn't just arrive here. This church will be 24 years by this October. So some people that are seen as, ah, they are young people. I'm not as young as you think. I've been preaching for 27 years. So let me be making all this in class. Like, ah, now, wow. Oh, he's a very young man. I'm not as young as him. I don't do ministry now. 27 years. I don't preach. For these 27 years, every week, I preach more than four to three times. Every week. Every week. I've not gone on vacation before. I've been ministering, preaching. Even when I go to a place I'm supposed to rest, somehow I'll find my way to shower for somebody and move my way again. So I've been doing this for years. So when this church came, it was a canopy. We kept there. I see some people that want to succeed. They cannot even be consistent. They cannot even be focused. And they say, hey, this year I go succeed. How? Success is not a gift. It's a reward for work. It's not a gift. There is no gift of success. Some people cannot be stable. Some people cannot be consistent. They can't stay with something until it breaks out. Uh -huh. Your condition been very different now. See, I was coming, trekking. Who I was driving with the road that I was showing. Okay, it was Danny. I showed, so you see this neighborhood I was showing. See, this area, almost all the buildings for this area, I don't come there before. Preaching the gospel, entering house to house, place to place. We came with a canopy. The wind would come and it would drop it on the floor. That brother came and went to buy some wood in Marine Base. I went to buy the wood in Marine Base myself and brought it. The brother started pinning it. The church must be here. Must be here. We built that place and start using faith to come over to this place that we're using right now. Staying with something. A lot of people cannot stay with something. Let me say this to you. God will reward a man who stay with the instruction he gave him. And the man who stay focused on that instruction, people don't just rise. Anywhere you see God lifting a man, there was a price they paid somewhere. They may have not told you, but there is a price somewhere. They stayed with it. They stay with it. Faith is reliable. Faith is dependable. Faith is consistent. Faith is diligent. Faith is focused. You can't be here today, next tomorrow. No, there is a focus required to generate results. If somebody won't help, you might tell you something. If somebody won't give you real help, eh? better money, there are criteria for it. I can tell you. I remember when I had one situation. And I had no, I was just believing God. You look left, nobody. You look right, nobody. You look back, nobody. You look front, nobody. You are just by yourself. Somebody heard about it. And look at me as an apostle can sleep. Loyalty pays. Loyalty may not produce now. But if you're loyal, 
it will pay off tomorrow. There is something about loyalty that brings you into due season. There is something about loyalty. There is something about standing with something that is going somewhere. Many people don't know this. There are principles of wealth. There are principles of multiplication. There are principles that lead to rising. Your life will not change overnight. Your life will change by principles and its application. Don't be deceived. Let nobody deceive you. It takes time. The person who gave us this property before we bought it, we used here for free for 11 years. Good character. I never one day went and met her and said, can you say that your land for us? God forbid, but somebody used something to call it. How dare you say that kind of thing? You know, you are at church now. You know, I'm a man of God. Hey, stop that. I never opened my mouth. The relationship was more important to me than the property. I prefer to have the relationship with her, to stay in that company with her and her family, and let go this. Why? Good relationship is a resource. They gotta understand it. Good relationship is a what? It's a resources. Most people don't understand this. If you have people, you have money. Because the money is with people. The favor is with people. The increase is with people. That is why you cannot ask smart your way to the top. It's not possible. What you're looking for is available. But there are principles of manifestations. What you're looking for is available. What you're looking for is available. There are principles of manifestations. What you're looking for is available. I don't know who I'm ministering to. I said, what you're looking for is available. There are principles. Imagine we came here and then we kept the canopy and then it fell and then somebody just came and said, what kind of church is this? Those who are quick to complain don't have the roots that would generate the fruit of greatness. Those who are quick to just give up. Some people think that everything will come with ease. No. Some things will not come with ease. Some things will come with fight. Some things will come with consistency. Some things will come with diligence. I don't know what I'm listening to. Some things will come with aggressive focus. I don't know where people get this notion from. That if it doesn't work this year, next year, I don't think you're in the will of God. Let me tell you this. You want to know the will of God? The word of God is the will of God. God can tell you to do something and for 20 years you have not seen the kind of fruit you want. He wants to still see your consistency. Can this man stay with this thing? Can this woman continue with this thing? Can this guy stay with this thing? Once there is no result, you're thinking the next thing, the next idea, I have this idea, that idea. You can't live like that. It takes time to make great things to happen. It takes time. While it's taking time, God is bringing people into your life and the people, he's getting them ready and God is developing you. He's working on you. He's building you up. The road to greatness has principles. I said what? The road to greatness has what? Has principles. It doesn't just happen. Nothing just happened. The road to greatness has principles. Sometimes it's not convenient. Yes, 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 it's not. It's not. Sometimes it's not convenient. But you stay with what God has told you to do. You stay. The problem in this generation is that people want instant gratification. People want quick results. And as they are not seeing the quick result, they are scheming all kinds of things. They are trying to do this. Ah, look at how these people are doing it. Look at, you can't follow people. You have to follow the word. You have to follow the leading of the Spirit. I don't follow what people do. What is God telling me to do? Because when God wants to judge me, he will judge me by what he asked me to do. He will not judge me by what someone else is doing. I listened to Brother Hagin today and he was shining about the particular preacher. 
that was doing something, he saw another preacher doing it, and he decided to do it. And they told him that we don't think that that thing you're doing, that God called you to do that. He said, no, I want to do it, I want to do it. He died young. He added so much pressure to his assignment. There is something that God has called you to do. You stay with it. Stay with it. Don't always run away when it's hard. There are people once it is hard, it is tough. Oh, Israel, to your tents. They are gone. They are gone. Once, it's, once they meet challenge, they meet situation, they don't run. No. They cannot stand. And the same people have the guts to tell people that they want to be great. How are you going to be great? When I watch UX Navy, I, I used to enjoy their training for those that want to take in. And man, the training is not here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The training will be here. There are certain demands. And when you're watching the the the, the process they are going through to get to that place because you won't have time in the world feed to learn. <laughs> you know why that training? Because when war break out, maybe for that place you go learn, you go die there. So do your training here and go there and defend your life. And sometimes God is working on you. He says, sit down here. No, 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 I don't want to sit down here. Nobody should tell me what to do. And that is why most people are not getting the kind of fruit they want to see, the kind of result they want to see, because they are always breaking the process. They don't complete the process. They don't follow the process. They always break the process. They are looking for where, where will it be easy for me? Where will it be easy for me? Don't look for where it will be easy for you. Look for where God is telling you what to do, what he wants you to do, what he wants you to learn, how he wants to grow you. That is how you make the progress. But if you're looking for where it is easy, you will be breaking the process so you're going to make things more difficult for yourself. That's how many people have made things more difficult for themselves. Why? Because they are breaking the process. Do you know how many invitations I've gotten to leave this country? As a consequence of this place. Do you know how many invitations open doors. There are people who have even left me, left my life because I refuse to move. You can't move when God has not moved you. You don't opportunity have to be assessed in the light of purpose. Every opportunity should be evaluated in the context of God's purpose for your life. You don't just run into opportunity. Ah! You may not come back. It may be the end of your life. The way God is planning for you, Satan is also planning for you. By the Spirit of God, you know God's planning. By flesh, you know devil plan. <laughs> you stay with devil's plan. By the Spirit, you will stay with God's plan. By the flesh, you will stay with the plan of the enemy. And that is why it's important for you to stay with the world. For you to stay. Your friend may come and show you, ah, oh boy, you see there, <laughs> You are sure that they shine. <laughs> uh, well, you see there, <laughs> that, that one don't blow. You see there, they'll be making all kinds of words. And you're looking at yourself and say, ah, well, me, I just say, confess scriptures now. I just say, don't worry. There are things that will die with time, there are things that fades away. I can tell you. I was talking to somebody went at this. I said, there were churches in this Borough Creek. If you have been in Borough Creek 20 years ago, they were like making waves. You hear, ooh. Most of them are silence. Most of them are empty. Most of them, other churches have bought over the property. Don't just shout. Prepare to shout as the shout will keep shouting. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I said, don't just shout. Prepare to shout as the shout will keep shouting. Don't just shout. Prepare 
to do the shout. As they shout, we'll keep shouting. There are people who shout after a while died off. That's not the kind of success you need. You need a progressive success. Quiet, but progress constantly. You need to make noise. You need to talk too much. You just a, just a go. Huh? Pastor, that's the advice Pastor C gave me. He said, do big things and be quiet about it. That's a cancer from my pastor. My pastor has said it. That ends it. That's what I believe. We are the people that when our pastor talk to us, they listen. No? There are people that our pastor talks to them, they don't listen. But my own, we are the people who say when they talk to us, they listen and they write them down. He said, do big things and say nothing about it. So I can be making him part, but I'm cool. Because that's what my pastor said. He has gone home to be with the Lord. But what is, you know that the children of Rabbi Kite, you remember the story? When God was talking to Jeremiah about them, you know, he said, somebody, somebody came to, to tell them, say, ah, let, them, let, let them drink. They said they will not drink. Then their father told them not to drink. Ah! He said, look at those guys. Israel cannot even obey me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some things take time. Stay away from people comparing you with themselves. Your problem is coming with, from people comparing you. You go to places where somebody is comparing your shoe, comparing your hair. You can't be in that kind of environment and your faith work. Stay away from places where you're being compared. Those competing with you, stay away from that place. Your faith can't work there. You, you may discourage. You want to prove something. And you may try to prove something that can hurt you. No. You stay with the word. Miracles happen when we walk by faith. Miracles happen when we do what? When we walk by faith. You stay with what God told you. There are people that told me uh, this ministry is going nowhere. I tell them, okay, now let's see how far. There are people that actually told us that God didn't call us. I've heard that before. There are people that said we don't have message. There are people that look at us, say we were, we were failed. But there was there is something about me. I don't even know how to stop. I wish I knew how to stop. But they say I've been wired to keep going. People's opinion and conclusion about you doesn't have to be your expect don't, don't, don't have to be your expectation. People's conclusion opinion about you I am happy I will not help you anymore I will withdraw my help if you have the revelation of Jesus no withdrawal of help will affect your purpose especially if you know your hand is clean in that whole matter in that whole deed people have left this church and said all manner of things about it and still came back and met me and tell me pastor I'm sorry how do you know a man is sent from God your absence, the man grew. The man get better. That's how you should be. And what bring that kind of result is when you're focused. People are talking about you. Next thing you abandon your ministry, abandon your assignment, and go and sit down somewhere. They are talking about me. What is doing yourself? They are talking, I don't like the way they are talking about me. That's why you cannot succeed. Somebody start talking about you on Facebook. Now me they talk. Eh, they talk about me. Okay. And they come again. You are affecting the process of your growth. You are stopping yourself. Somebody if you look at you and say, you thief church money. You chop church money. You do this. All kinds of talk. You sleep with this person. You All kinds of talk comes in. But let me say this to you. The purpose of the accuser is to frustrate your vision. You must learn to fight back for your vision. People cannot just make comments and you just walk away. I'm walking away. Me, I can't walk away from my assignment and I'm going to give me this vision. I know if it's really like. Make this cloud the fall. I'm not walking away. What God has come to do, I will do it. Somebody said, if they want to run out of the town, be in the front and lead the pack. <laughs> now, if they want to run out of, out of town, you should be in their front and say, let's go. You don't give up on God's plan. You don't give up on God's will. Don't let pressure make you settle for nothing. Believe God. Trust God. The voice of mockery is not the voice of God. I've learned something about life. 
those who persevere will get there. Those who persevere. <laughs> if somebody came to this church 10 years ago or 15 years ago and saw the bungalow I will tell them. There are people that are, somebody was asking me yesterday, say, Pastor, why couldn't some people see these days that was coming? I say, it's by the spirit you see it. In the flesh, you cannot see it. In the flesh, when you look at everything, you can't see where we're going. That is how some people are not seeing where we're going to in the next five years. As I'm talking right now. There are people who can't see where discovery is going the next five years. They can't see it. All they're seeing is their needs. There are people 15 years ago, if they saw today, they will say, let me wait. I want to be part of the story. When God is working on you, don't be in a hurry to jump out of the process. If God have not set the stage, don't start the dance. Because if you dance, nobody will watch. But when God set the stage and you start dancing, hey, your dance makes a meaning. There are those that will work out on you to make you feel like you're stupid. And I tell you the truth. There are people that will walk out on you. And the way they will walk out on you, eh? they will walk out on you before people, and people will see how they are walking out on you to sow the seed in their heart as they too can walk out on you. You must learn to fight for your vision. One thing I like about David, oh, one of my greatest heroes in the Bible. Hey! Ability to stand alone. If you have not cultivated it, you cannot succeed. David know how to stand alone. The guy know how to stand. Because there are people who behind and making mockery of you. And the enemy brings in a wave to spread, to whisper that mockery in your ear. For you to become discouraged. For you to become depressed. For you to become frustrated. And then he said, it doesn't worth it. I'm putting on my best. But they don't appreciate me. The Bible said, and David encouraged himself. Hey! And the Lord is God. You must get to that point. If you must make it you must learn how to talk to yourself. You must look at yourself. Say, so let me tell you something. I've noticed it and I'm going to write a book on it. The courage that leads. The courage. Talk to yourself. That is one thing David had has as a person. The ability to talk to himself. This is not the end of the road. Hi, God. How dare you quit on your dreams? How dare you quit on your vision? Oh, this person just left. That person just left. Okay. A visionary, a visionary is like a bus driver. Remember from New Road to Lagos bus stop. There are many people that will stop on the way. And there are many people who also pick where you're going. They seem to play in two. There are places playing will land, people will enter. And continue the journey with people that were inside that same plane. Why are you abandoning your vision? At every time, any little space, somebody said something, somebody did something, somebody did something, and the next minute he just said, I don't think they appreciate me. <laughs> don't look for appreciation. Look for inspiration. I said, don't look for appreciation. Look for inspiration. Inspiration will keep you going. Appreciation may not come, but inspiration is for longevity. Cry. Woo! I said, don't look for appreciation. Look for inspiration. Inspiration will keep you going. If appreciation does not come, no problem. But inspiration is for longevity. Learn to fight for your dreams. Learn to stay with what God called you to do. There are those that may be comparing you. Look at these people that just started yesterday. Look at these people that just started. Oh, you people are still here. Look at these people. There are people 
that will say those kind of things. One thing I've learned to do, let me tell you as I close. I've learned how to take care of myself. When I say take care of myself, take care of myself spiritually, take care of myself mentally, take care of myself emotionally, and take care of myself bodily. I've learned the act of taking care of my mind. Faith man, you just need to be focused. Faith man, come on. Faith man, you need to be focused. Faith man, you need to be focused. Faith man, come on. Faith man, come on. Come on, you need to be focused. Faith man, you're more than this. You're being, I have to talk to myself. I need to talk to myself. Because sometimes in life, you turn here, nobody knows what you feel in your heart. You turn this way, nobody knows what you feel in your heart. But if you look in here, you find the Holy Ghost and you find inspiration. We can do it together. Let you talk to yourself. That was one of the principles of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because I've anointed me. He was talking to himself. A lot of people abandoned their dream, abandoned their vision, walked away from destiny. They didn't know how to talk to themselves. Every challenge, they abandoned the process. Every opposition, they walk away. Every crisis, they lose focus. Every time they fall into temptation, they lose courage. Every time they meet financial challenges, they lose hope. And it's time their dreams fail to come true. Their passion for living drops. Don't live like that. Don't live like that. Don't live like that. Or well, listen to dear man of God. I ran up with that story. And he said many years ago he felt like committing suicide. Kai. When he looked at the church. Look at his life. He said, where am I going from here? Then one day somebody walked up to him and looked at him and said, your best of days are ahead of you. He said, but he doesn't look it. He said, but it's ahead of you. Most people that committed suicide was at the verge of breaking forth. But the enemy continued to show them the picture of empty life frustrated life no hope so the enemy continued to bombard them with nothing is working for you can't you see since the beginning of this year you have not gotten any testimony you have not gotten any results he began to bombard them the reason why the enemy is doing that he has perceived as a spiritual being that something good is about to happen but he cannot really pinpoint or touch it but if I can discourage you, somebody was preaching and said, If I was them, if I was the devil, <laughs> hey, <laughs> that he will bring so much discouragement that you have no reason to go forward. But there is some balance from God. <laughs> I learned that if the darkness is thick, the light is closed. You see where God is taking you to. Don't give up on your life. Learn from this ministry. Learn from this vision. Learn from where we are. I don't know where I'm speaking to. You felt like quitting. You felt like giving up. Everything you try to do. You notice you're still in the same spot. Effort doesn't equal productivity. The leadership of the spirit will introduce productivity. <laughs> it's not just effort. The Bible says it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit of God. It's by the Spirit who receive direction. By the Spirit. I told myself, faith man, you must succeed. You must succeed. You must excel. I used to preach to myself. I used to talk to myself. Just to talk to myself, fit man, you must succeed, fit man, you must excel. Ah, fit man, you are going somewhere. Fit man, there is greatness in you. 
Faith man, you're born a king. Faith man, you're born to rule. Kande de bushakababa. Faith man, there is greatness inside of you. Haha. <laughs> Faith man, there is more to you than what the eyes can see. I need to talk to myself. Some of you need to learn how to talk to yourself. Not sitting down in that bed and be crying, crying like a baby. Talk to yourself. Wake yourself up. Write some good things about yourself. I'm a focused person. I'm a consistent person. I'm a loving person. I'm a caring person. There is greatness in me. Every time you want to cry. What are you crying for? Tears doesn't pay bills. Revelation will. Wisdom will pay bills. Understanding will pay bills. You start talking to yourself. Let me say this to you. You can't survive the nights of life without talking about the day and the light of life. I want to say it again. You cannot survive the nights, the nights of life without talking about the light and the day of life. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Wake yourself up. I'm beautiful. I am great. Stop waiting for people to tell you you're beautiful. Stop waiting for people to tell you how handsome you are. Stop waiting for people to look at you and say, Today you dress well. Stop feeding on the accolades of people and start feeding on God's word. I'm a chosen generation. I am the righteousness of God. I'm a partaker of the divine nature. My going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. I'm born rich. I'm born blessed. I'm born great. I'm born prosperous. You need to talk to yourself. You need to talk to yourself. You need to talk to yourself. I said you need to talk to yourself. I said you need to talk to yourself. You need to talk to yourself when the wave of life, when the crisis of life, when the situations are there. You need to talk to yourself. Don't lose your mind, but talk to yourself. Preach yourself happy. Wake up and tell yourself greatness is coming through this man. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. That's what kept me. Talk to yourself. Listen to what brings life. Connect with people who have something they will say that will help you survive the nights of life. Oh, let's rise. Oh, I didn't know I would preach like this tonight. But God is talking to somebody here tonight. There is a future with your name on it. There is a greatness inside of you. There is something you are carrying. Don't be a kind of person who easily break in crisis. Easily break when there are storms of life. When there are challenges of life. No. You don't easily break. God is my source. God is my helper. It's time to talk to yourself. Don't give up on your life. They walked away. Pursue the dream. They stop supporting. Pursue the dream. They send you mail of rejection. Pursue the dream. Don't come to Facebook and say, Nobody is God. It's not important. Stop bringing your personal issue online. Stop. Stop. Bring encouragement to people. Stop bringing your personal issue. The fight you have with people. You brought it to Facebook and to Twitter. That is not the place. Mature yourself. Grow up. Grow up. Tell testimonies of your victory. Let it inspire somebody. Not the fight you had with someone. Focus on purpose. Focus on making a difference. Don't wait for people to give you what you can get for yourself. Don't wait for people to open a door for you when you know you can open one for yourself. Don't wait for people to encourage you when you know you can encourage yourself. Don't wait for people to clap for you when you can do it for yourself. Don't wait for people to smile at you when you can bring out a smile from your own face. Don't wait for people's approval when you know you are a chosen generation. Stop waiting for the approvals of people. Stop depending on the faith of people. Learn to walk your faith. The same Jesus that died for them died for you. Their faith is not special than yours. 
The difference may be that they kept working on it. They kept working on it. And now it's working for them. Father, we thank you tonight for your presence and for your glory in this place. In Jesus' name, amen. Quickly, we lift our tithes and our offerings. Father, we thank you for our time.